Hello, we are Team Who Raised to Play. My name is Ian, and our team members are Matt, Abi, Daryl, Charlene, Grace, and Julian. And today we will be presenting our project Kampung Orchard. In the past, Orchard Road used to play host to numerous pepper and nutmeg farms, spice gardens, and fruit orchards that covered the area since the 1830s. That is where Orchard Road gets its namesake from. Today, however, Orchard Road is vastly different. Instead of a humble community of farmers, it is a beacon of consumerism, the antithesis of what sustainable living should be. Kampong Orchard aims to flip this notion, capitalizing on the Gotong Rongo spirit as an ideology of sustainability through community. As a mixed-use development, we saw the opportunity to marry the modern image of Orchard Road, whilst leveraging on the residential community to inspire sustainable living. Using the history of Orchard Road and the spirit of Gotong Royong, which was once prevalent, we focused on the idea of building a community, one whose members would help one another. We then looked at the community's interdependence and symbiotic relationship between men and the environment. By extrapolating this relationship, we are able to create a community-driven, sustainable lifestyle. The concept then revolves around a cycle where residents jointly manage urban farms throughout the development and sell the harvest on regular market days. This exchange of both produce and capital allows for the community to be somewhat self-sufficient. With this, Kampong Orchard can help develop sustainable lifestyle practices through the tight-knit community it houses. Beyond the lifestyle aspect, we also wanted to achieve sustainability for our project through its architecture. We first started by the extrusion of a solid mass from the site, upon which we imposed a grid. A grid that was designed to help facilitate the location and position of our PPVC modules. At the same time, this grid helps to break up the structure into smaller masses, between which major thoroughfares are formed, thoroughfares that help to facilitate pedestrian circulation on site. Simultaneously, the breaking up of the structure into smaller masses also aids us in our passive design strategies. Passive design strategies that further reduce the energy consumption of the building, such as leveraging the prevailing winds on site. By staggering the heights of the various blocks, we are able to create a pressure gradient which channels wind passively to cool the space. Using simulations for operative temperature, solar radiation and thermal loads, we were able to determine the best position for our residential blocks, a position that helps us maximize shading ventilation, and solar energy production on the site. Each individual residential unit was then arranged to create pockets for garden terraces scattered throughout the tower. In using these terraces as a green buffer, we aim to further reduce the thermal load on the towers. These terraces not only act as green buffers, but also provide enhanced shading, hence their majority location on the western facade. Another particular feature we introduced to minimize energy consumption and maximize sustainable performance included a canopy fitted with solar panels that covers the market area. To evaluate our design, we used multiple grasshopper plugins such as Ladybug, Honeybee, and Butterfly to obtain various precise environmental conditions and calculations such as surface temperatures, energy loads, and wind forces that our project would experience. From these simulations and calculations, we were then able to make design decisions and both micro and macro manage our model in terms of the placement, positioning, and orientation of key design elements. Additionally, with the use of the octopus solver native to Grasshopper, we performed multivariate data analysis and optimized the construction of the canopy and its panels, maximizing the exposed surface area for solar panel placement 
while minimizing solar radiation that the market area would be exposed to. When we conceived Kampong Orchard, we wanted it to not only be sustainable through the visible aspects, but also the invisible aspects. Its construction method primarily leverages on DFMA technology, which presents the benefits of shorter construction period, higher quality workmanship, and lesser disruption to community. We choose pre-finished, prefabricated volumetric construction, also known as PPVC, as our DFMA technology. Each building in Kampong Orchard is put together by a series of PPVC modules. A list of different PPVC modules was created and when put together can form a variety of different spaces. Other prefabricated components such as the MEP track and prefabricated bathroom units can also be fabricated off-site. With this series of modules, different configurations of 1, 2, 3 and 4 bedroom units can be created based on the needs of the users. Each module has a base dimension of 3.4 by 3.4 meters, allowing it to be transported easily. Fabrication of PPVC modules can proceed in parallel to other worksite activities to streamline the construction process, potentially achieving up to 40% manpower savings and 20% time savings. As more activities are done off-site, dust and noise pollution are minimized and less overall construction waste is produced on-site. Furthermore, the controlled factory environment for the fabrication of modules leads to increased reliability with better quality finishes and a more precise plan for the sequencing of work and better logistical coordination. Workplace safety is also enhanced due to the reduced man hours working at height. The accumulated time savings contribute to the overall sustainability of the construction practice. To reduce construction costs and increase efficiency, we also use 3D beam modeling software such as Revit to spot, reduce and resolve any potential site conflicts. We use programs such as Augmentecture Augmented Reality to resolve conflicts between the CNS, M&E and architecture models. These programs were supplemented with Autodesk Beam 360 and Trimble Connect to help review the models and highlight existing issues for resolution. The use of VR and AR can also help in the sale of units as it gives prospective residents a virtual walkthrough to better visualize the space. Finally, we utilized many online collaborative platforms, such as Google Drive for file sharing and tracking our progress in the aforementioned areas, and Zoom and Discord for setting up project meetings to generate and discuss ideas in improving the project. All in all, we envision Kampong Orchard to not only be sustainable in its lifestyle, construction and architecture, but when combined, is greater than the sum of its parts. Its prime location in Orchard Road should be leveraged, breaking away from the wasteful consumerism it is associated with today, and instead, showcasing what Orchard Road can be, an inspirer of change towards a sustainable future. Thank you.